Hi, this is Ricky Sun. I am a Pi consultant. Today, I like to talk about who my client like to work with, right? And in summary, right, there are four types: A, B, C, D types of workers. And maybe I will show you a chart too. So, you know, in in this chart, A players are high performance and high cultures. And then just a little bit of the D is low cultures, low performance. And talk about performance and cultures. What are what are what are these means, right? So high performance means you have the skill, you know what you're doing, and you will be able to solve problems like that, right? And so you don't need a lot of training. You already know what you're doing. And talk about cultures. What's a good cultures in your company, right? It's like harmony. I talk about that. People work together like a team, right? And if it is low cultures, people hate each other. They play office politics, right? People will be an asshole. So those are low cultures. And in this video, I like to talk about who my client really want to work with, right? So let's talk about A type, right? A type is the workers that have high performance and high cultures, which means they can work as a team with the clients, right? Like if I hire you, you are A, right? Fold you into my clients, you would be able to blend in and solve that problem, right? With minimum supervision, and also you are able to solve the client problem, right? Without me giving you too much training or guidance or you know coaching, right? So that is a, and I the way my client. Explain to me if it is an A is, it is like they hire a gunman, right? When they want to kill somebody, just tell him, and then that person will be down, will be dead, right? So if there's a problem in pie you would like to solve, and you see it, you just tell that person, A person, and then he will be able to just solve the problem for you. So that's a A type, right? Let's talk about B type. So B type is they have high cultures but low performance. Why, right? Like why they is such a person? Because they don't have experience. They don't have the skill of pie, right? But they are trying their best. They are humble. They are the person that you know you feel happy to. Belong with, right? But you know they don't have too much skill. You know they are kind of, you know, even they try, they don't know what they're doing. So you need to give them a lot of training and also coaching to get them up eventually from year, maybe getting many many experience and and also training. Then eventually they become a A, right from B, right. So the performance increase by getting more training, and this is what my client also want to put it to give you an idea. But you know, you need to get yourself to some level of skill in Pi before they can even see you, because you otherwise you you can say, oh, I am very good at Thai culture, but like I have no idea what Pi is. Like, then you won't get hired because I. There's no experience. I've trained a brand new person. It's like a kid, and and it is hard. You know, you try to get your skill right by taking some virtual training, taking some training, go to the conference or Pi conference, a virtual world conference, right? So and then focus, learn your skill, and then eventually you become an A person. And That's where we want to be. Like we want to be an A, right? Like A is, you know, when you go to school, you want you don't want F, you want A, right? So this is 
how I look at it. But let's talk about C type of workers. C type of workers is high performance but low cultures. So they have like I don't know 10 years, 20 years of high experience, you know, but you know, he looked down on you, right? He you know, he's being an asshole, he don't work well with teams, he's arrogant, you know, doesn't educate other people like when they ask, right? I client asks you like how do you do that? Can you show me? And then it's like no, no. I just solve I was able to solve your problem. Like why you wanna ask? Like, that kind of thing. So this is the asshole people, right? That's the C, right? C is hard to work with. I don't know why my clients still want to see people in their company. I guess they don't have option maybe, right? If they have option, they will get rid of them, right? If I actually, when at the beginning, I notice you are the C kind of workers, I would tell you like what I'm expecting. And if you don't change, I think I will fire you because I don't want to send you to my client and upset my client. That's why I think I don't mind a B as long as my client can tolerate him being a learner. But A definitely, you know, like to talk to you too. So, and talk about, <laughs> talk about C, right? Like, I think C is like, if I, in the middle, you have been, you were a B and then A and then you convert to C maybe, then yeah, I will have a serious conversation with you. If you don't change, I will fire you. I don't care who you are. And this is how I look at it. Let's talk about D type of workers, right? D type of workers are the person who are low performance and low cultures, right? They don't have the skill, right? And they also don't want to learn. <laughs> Low culture meaning you don't try to blend in, you don't try hard, even though you are bad, actually. So these are the people you should fire. Like they should be laid off or fire yesterday, right? Because uh, they don't bring your company any goods. I mean, why are they here? Why are they? Why you want to hire such a workers if, like, even though you have money, you don't want to kill your company culture because, right? If you have too many D's in your company, the A's will leave the company because A's cannot tolerate the D type of worker, and that's how I look at it, and also what I learned too and to put it in a perspective right from from what i just talked about let's put yourself into the shoe of being a customer right we are in the service industry right we are the serving pie right Kai consultant we're serving our customer and let's say put it Put it in another way everyone has experienced that you go to a restaurant and the server serve you right and then they the restaurant also bring you good food right food and all that but like if you have good food in your company like actually like when as a pie consultant if you are very good skill meaning you can serve good food right but Having good food doesn't get you to everywhere, but you need to be a good servant as well. You need to be able to, to provide the best service you can possibly do. So the culture is where I wanted to talk to about, right? If you're having good cultures, it's like you're serving them well, right? Then your client will be happy and they are happy to pay you tips, right? If you're a waiter, they're not just, oh, the food is good, but also your service is great. So then you deserve more tips, right? 
this is my opinion and thank you for watching you know if you are a d or b or c don't get upset you can change yourself and and the way to change it is your mind to shift so that you become the other type right and i always strive myself to towards a but i look at myself as a b because uh i think i don't like i, I don't know everything so i don't like myself to be in the c i don't think i am a c and d i will fly them so i can I, i'm going to like really upset myself if i'm a d but thank you for watching peens this is all i want to share Please don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the bell icon. I'll see you next week. Bye.